Member for Jury. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm very <coughs> pleased to support this motion. I thank the member for Gibbsland for introducing it to the chamber today. Like the member for Gibbsland, I too understand the importance of local government in delivering important infrastructure and services across Australia, particularly so in regional areas. So often when we hear conversation about local government, the old RRR acronym gets thrown around. It's often used to disparage and lessen the role of local governments, you know, the roads, the rates and the rubbish. Well, I can assure you that local government, and I know the Deputy Speaker will no doubt agree with me, in regional Australia they're responsible for far more than that. In Western Australia we have seen examples over the years of local governments going well and truly above and beyond for their community, whether that's incentivising GPs uh, to operate in their community or trying to address the drastic um, housing shortages that now exist. You know, they're not just uh, in, in charge of the local library and the local pool, but other very, very important community assets. Just on housing, I regularly meet with local governments across Durack, and I've heard of plenty of times about communities being let down by the WA state Labor government. So I would like to suggest to the Albanese government that they consider looking to invest directly into local government, bypass state governments altogether, as a potential solution for housing shortages, particularly across regional WA, because I believe local governments can be trusted with this very important role. There are over 40 local government areas within my electorate of Durack. Some are home to tens of thousands of residents, like the city of Geraldton, or just a few hundred, like the Shire of Kew. But no matter the size, size of the um, local council, on this side of the house, we know that it is local government that are most in tune with their community needs, and that's why we trusted local government to deliver road projects and important community infrastructure. I'm very proud of the support that we on this side offered to local government authorities across Australia. Uh, this included $21.7 billion through the Financial Assistance Grant Program, $3 billion of, dollars of support through the Innovative Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Program, which was particularly important in keeping councils going through the pandemic. Another great aspect of this program was that the, council was, the funding to the council wasn't tied and therefore it assisted local councils to be able to invest in that low-hanging fruit and they were unable to find other pots of money to be able to pay for that. So, you know, I've seen many good examples of that right throughout Durack. We also delivered $6.2 billion through the Roads to Recovery program, which supported the maintenance of the nation's local road infrastructure assets, facilitating greater accessibility and improving safety, economic and social outcomes for Australians. We provided a further $676 million in the Bridges Renewal Program to provide funding for upgrades to bridges that provide access for local communities and facilitate vehicle access to enhance the local community, particularly important in those very, very remote parts of Western Australia. Before the last election, the Labor Party promised fair increases to local government funding. Yet all they have done is cut program after program that my councils have relied upon. The Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Program, which I previously mentioned, is just one of the many programs that has been abandoned by this Albanese Labor government. Another disgraceful example of Labor's disregard for the needs of regional Western Australia was clearly demonstrated through their recent announcement of the successful recipients of the Growing Regions Fund. Some 90 per cent of projects that were initially assessed as worthy by the Regional Development Department were rejected. This includes several projects from my electorate of Durack. The Albanese government has confirmed that the program was underspent, underspent, so there was clearly other projects they could have approved, underspent by $93.4 million or by 31 per cent. If you ever need an, an example of the Labor Party not supporting regional Australia, there it is, right there, underspent by 31 per cent. This is a real slap in the face to regional communities and all of those really hard-working local governments who, who, who invested so much time and effort and, dare I say it in some cases, uh, financial resources to produce detailed business cases and quality applications. It's clear that the Albanese government is taking councils for granted. The federal budget has been a miserable failure 
and the work of councils to deliver livable community deserves more respect than they're receiving today. The, Our local councils the and the coalition.